Hey guys, my name is Jeremiah Craig and I got another pants and boots video for you today. I have the Polk pant from Bridge and Burn and we're gonna try it out with eight different kinds of cowboy boots featuring eight different toe shapes to see what this pant is like. Let's get into it. I'm just here to connect ya and then I'll be on my way. Hey everybody, thanks for coming back to the channel. If this is your first time here, please hit that subscribe button. I know a lot of you guys have requested more dress pants videos so you can kind of figure out what goes well with your cowboy boots maybe in the office. So I got my hands on this Bridge and Burn Polk pant. It was sent to me by Bridge and Burn for the purposes of this video. So huge shout out to them. I'm really looking forward to trying this out with several different kinds of cowboy boots to see what the fit is like. But first, we gotta break down the details of this pant with the rundown. Yes, this is the Polk pant from Bridge and Burn. This is their charcoal color. The fabric is a 97% cotton and 3% spandex. So it does have a really nice amount of stretch to it. This is gonna be comfortable. The fit is described as the Goldilocks perfect slim straight fit. And I love it when companies say it's the perfect slim straight fit or Goldilocks or something like that because they never think about including cowboy boots in their perfect fit. So we'll have to see about that. One thing to keep in mind is that there are only two lengths when it comes to bridge and burn pants. There is R and L. R stands for regular, L stands for long. So I was able to get the 32L, which I definitely need a longer size since I am 6'1", and I do have long legs. Oftentimes I need 32, 36 pants, especially after those pants go through the dryer. These Polk pants have a zip fly. They are made in India and they're coming in at $124 on bridgeandburn.com. And today this video is helped made possible by Chisos Boots. Chisos Boots makes some of the most luxurious feeling cowboy boots with insoles on the market. So if you guys out there are looking for cowboy boots but don't quite like the traditional feeling of a hard leather insole but like a traditional build, then Chiso's boots might be for you. Especially for those of you who are in the office looking for dress pants like this bridge and burn. The Roper is where it's at. The Chiso's insole works so, so well in the Roper. I have the Chiso's King Roper, which is all ostrich. It looks great and feels even better. So if you guys are interested in trying some Chiso's boots, check out the links in the description. And if you purchase through those links, you will also help to support this channel at no extra cost to you. So check out Chiso's boots today. Now it's time to try on this bridge and burn Polk pant with eight different kinds of cowboy boots. Let's kick things off with the Chiso's King Roper. It's all ostrich and it's all beautiful. It's a shorter boot coming in at nine to 10 inches tall and it's got a narrow opening. So it works really well with these pants, even though they're a little bit shorter than I thought they were going to be for a long size. Next up, let's take a look at the Uto. This is a Hondo 2670 with a two inch heel and a 14 inch tall top. And this is a big surprise to me. The pant is doing a good job covering up all of that leather, all of that material, all 14 inches of it. This actually works well. It's not the best, but better than I thought it was gonna do. And I'm loving the stretch of these pants. Up next is the Arto. This is the Boulet 1505 pieced ostrich boot with a one and a half inch heel and a 12 inch top. I think this is my favorite pairing of the day. Definitely a Goldilocks combo. I love how much boot is shown with these pants being a little bit shorter. Um, it's a beautiful boot and it just shines. Here we have a Jato. This is a BNV water buffalo calf with a one and a half inch heel and a 13 inch top with my brand there inlaid. 
uh, the top of these boots is more narrow, so it works with the pants really well. Proving again that BNVs go with pretty much everything. Up next is a snip toe. This is a Yeehaw Cowboy Cayman Tail Snip Toe Black Cherry Color. And this is a good example of a pairing that doesn't work quite as well due to how wide the 13 inch tall tops are on this boot. Normally I would like a snip toe with a dress pant like this, but these two just don't work as well together as others might do in part to how wide the top is. Still loving that stretch though. Here we have a narrow square toe example. This is a blackjack Piruku boot with a one and a half inch heel and a 12 inch top. And you can kind of see those tops through the pants, but like with the Hondo, it's really not that bad. And this can work in a pinch. The charcoal color of the pant and the cognac color of the Piruku looks so good together though. All right, here we have a Stetson JPS Lizard boot. It's my closest example to a French toe that I can get with a 13 inch tall top. My true French toe boots are still in storage after my move. So today we're gonna have to deal with this one with a double stitched welt. And I feel like the tops are a bit too wide and the heel is a little bit too blocky for this to be a good combo. Here's another example of a boot with a double stitched welt, just a little bit more wide of a square toe though. And I'm getting the same issues with this boot that I saw with the Stetson JBS Lizards. You know, if you're a bigger guy and wanted to try this pant, maybe under six feet tall, it might work better with a longer size, but on my tall skinny frame, this square toe and a blocky heel just looks a little bit funky. The stretch though, Love it. All right, guys, so the Bridge and Burn Polk Pant is definitely not a Goldilocks fit, but it did work with more cowboy boots than I thought it would. I feel like it didn't go well with the snip toe from Yeehaw Cowboy and the two wide square toe boots at the end, but other than that, I felt like it worked really well with the Chisos, the BNV J toe, and the Boule R toe. It worked great with those, and then I felt like it did okay with the Hondo 2670 and the Blackjack Piruku boot. Definitely a pass on those ones, but the first three, that Chisos, the Boule, and the BNV, looked awesome. I will say that they felt a little bit short for me, even with the 32L size. It kind of felt comparable to what a 3232 feels like for me or a 3233. So it's definitely on the shorter side for being a long size. Still, I felt like it worked well that it was so short with some of the boots because it was able to show off the entire boot. Like that boule, it looked so good, guys. I just can't get over how good this pant looked with the boule. It does put me in a position where I don't feel like I can put these pants in the dryer after washing them. And a lot of you guys might be saying, well, you shouldn't do that anyways, but it really takes forever for pants to dry up here in the Northeast with it being so humid in the summer and so cold and wet in the winter time. It seriously takes forever and I need to throw my pants in the dryer, but I'm really afraid to do that with these poke pants because uh, I'm afraid of them shrinking up even more and then them being not wearable at all with my boots. But that's a minor criticism. I can get over myself for one pair of nice dress pants for sure. In fact, these are really comfortable. I wish I had a pair of these back when I had my fancy office marketing job because man, it would make that job a lot easier to deal with if I had a comfortable dress pant like this. They stretch way more than a traditional khaki or dress pant. I mean, look at this. It's nuts how much stretch I'm getting from this pant. And it feels that way when you're wearing it too. My expectations are always really low when it comes to pairing dress pants and cowboy boots. It's a very hard fit to get right. But I feel like the Polk did it right with maybe a half of the boots that we tried today. Uh, maybe a little bit more than that, depending on what your preferences are. Uh, still, I really liked this pant with um, my favorite cowboy boots, and I plan on wearing this quite a bit, but I wanna know what you think of the bridge and burn poke pant down in the comments. Like I said, I think my favorite pairings were the Boule, the Chisos, and the BNV, but I wanna know your thoughts down in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe. Thank you so much for watching today and I will see you next time. Peace.
Take a turn and bridge and burn and who knows what you might learn. They might not fit every pair, but they're still damn comfortable to wear. Yes, thank you so much for watching today. Why don't you check out this video up here about the Chiso's King Roper. Or I got a music video down here I think you might enjoy. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next time. Peace. Have a good one.